<laughs> he kind of sounded like Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Gremlins and welcome back to another episode of Marienkraft and where we left off we got our first Velociraptor, Holly, but she seems to be escaping from her cage or house, I don't know, but yeah, she seems to be escaping so we need to put a stop to that for today's episode, um, but I also went ahead and did a bunch of more, uh, a bunch of research on the fossils and archaeology mod and I need to get a hopper for the culture vat. So I'm going to explain why I need the culture or why I need the hopper in a little bit. But before we actually continue with today's episode, let's go ahead and see the fan art that we received this week. We got this really cool drawing of me as a dinosaur, which kind of reminded me of my Minecraft Halloween skin. So I thought it was really cool. So thank you so much for this drawing. We also got this adorable drawing of our baby Velociraptor Holly and myself trying to feed her a cookie. And we also got this really cute drawing of myself and my husband, James. So thank you so much to everybody who sent fan art this week. And remember, if you guys would like to send me some fan art, you can do so via Twitter. My Twitter is going to be in the description down below, also known as the Doobly Doo. But let's go ahead and continue with today's episode. Um, as we need to make a cage. We need to... <laughs> <laughs> fix the cage actually not make a cage but we need to fix the cage for holly um and i think i got everything that i needed from here i got some more iron and uh let's go ahead and teleport to the museum so uh first things first we need to get some more iron fences for holly hey bertha how you doing bertha um so we need to get some more iron fences over here and glass i think I think I'm gonna need more glass than that. So let's go ahead and grab this. Do I have a furnace around here? I don't think... Oh, I do have a furnace. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and put this here and a couple of coal. I think yeah, maybe with that should be more than enough. And we're gonna go ahead and put some iron fences over here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got the fences and now we need to put the roofing. So the roofing is going to be, I think, on this same level, right? No, it's too short. I think it's too short. We, I think we're going to have to go one block higher like that. Does that look good? I think this would look good. And bloop. There we go. Perfect. Nice. It looks fantastic, Holly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the cloud pad moves so fast. Um, it looks fantastic. Do you like your new home, Holly? I think it looks fantastic. I really like it. So now she shouldn't be able to climb. She shouldn't be able to escape from her enclosure in case, you know, she gets hungry. I think there's still food. Is there still food here, Holly? Oh yeah, there's still plenty of food. There's 674. You should be good. You should be good, Holly. So let's go ahead and... Oops, what? Let's go ahead and get out of here. And over here, this treasure chest has the bone the bone that I need so I can command uh, Holly. Because you need bones for Velociraptors and sticks for the Pachycephalosaurus. So over here on Patrick's house, um, there's also a treasure chest with the sticks so I can command Patrick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But okay, now that that's done, now we need to do a hopper. So now it is time for the hopper. So how do I make a hopper? How do I make a hopper? Hopper, 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 hopper. Uh, I need iron ingots, a chest, and more iron ingots. Okay, so I think I left the iron ingots over here. I don't have a chest. Well, I need to make a treasure chest. I mean, I have this one, but I don't want to use this one. I guess I could. I mean, there's really nothing here. I could take this one. Let's do, let's just take this one. And uh, let's make the hopper, hopper, hopper. Let's make the hopper, hopper, hopper. So it's one, two, one, two, one. And then the treasure chest over here. And then we have a hopper. So the reason why I wanted to make the hopper was because... <laughs> As the culture vat can explode, apparently it also, one, once it explodes, it also drops some items. So that's why I need to make a hopper in case um, the culture vat decides to explode. Um, so I need to, so I can pick up the items with the hopper. So I need to place it two blocks below. So it is one. Um, let's see, do I have anything that I can place? I guess I can place this one. So I can do this. And then, and then what? <laughs> um, I didn't really think this through. Okay, so it's one and two. There we go. So now we can destroy that and that. There we go. Cool, cool. 
I've this is the first time I actually made a hopper. Never have I ever made a hopper before. So yay, first time making a hopper. All right, cool trivet. There we go. So now, if it happens to explode, this thing right here will catch the items. I don't know if it will catch the water. I don't think so. Um, but also the cold trivet. Once it explodes, it um, I think it just has water everywhere. So that might be a little bit annoying. But hey. We can fix that. We can fix that. And another thing that can happen once the culture vat explodes is not only it will give you maybe a Phalosaurus, but apparently it can also spawn a creeper or a skeleton. <laughs> now that's awful. So um, speaking of, because that would be horrifying if I happen to have a creeper over here, let's just take the enchanting table. And uh, move it somewhere else because we don't want the enchanting table to be destroyed by a creeper if he decides to explode. So let's just be safe and put it, um, I guess, over here. Yeah, let's ha just have two beautiful craft, I mean, enchanting tables. Okay, so um, now uh, we need to make a house for the Triceratops. So we're going to need um, the cobblestone walls. And we're going to need iron bars. So let's go ahead and pick these. And I don't think we're going to need glass. I don't think we need the glass. So I'm not going to take that with me. But however, we will uh, try to get another egg. Now let's see. We could make another Velociraptor. I don't want to make the T-Rex yet because I don't have a proper housing for that. Uh, so maybe a Brachiosaurus. A Brachio, Brachio, <laughs> Brachiosaurus. There we go. A Brachiosaurus. Maybe a Brachiosaurus would be cool. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. And uh, let's see if we can get lucky and we get a dinosaur egg instead of a Phalosaurus or a creeper or a skeleton. All right, so egg and milk. There we go. Cool, cool. So um, let's go back over here. I guess we could sleep because it's nighttime already. So let's just go to sleep. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start making the house for the Triceratops. I think I want to place it over here because um, they are big, but they're not that big. So let's go ahead and make the area about here, I guess. This is a good distance, right? Yeah, that's a good distance. Bloop, bloop. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to open. I don't know if I should have iron doors or not or fences because I know that the Triceratops also breaks blocks. So... Um, I don't know if I need iron fences or not. Maybe. I mean, I think we should just be safe and just put iron fences. I mean, iron doors, just so we can be safe. But I'm going to leave it open for now because I don't have the iron doors with me at this moment. So let's just continue placing the iron fences around here. Bloop. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Oh, we're missing this part right here. Okay, so over here, we're going to have to use cobblestone or stone, wh whichever of the two. And we're going to need some buttons. Okay, so let's go over here and let's make some buttons. So we're going to need two buttons. There we go. Actually, no, I think two buttons should be good. I think two buttons should be good. Yeah, right. And two iron doors. There we go. So I think this should be good. Let's see. Bloop, bloop. And bloop. There we go. So now iron fence, the, I mean iron door, iron door, button. And will this button open both? It only opens one, really? Oh, so I'm going to need two more buttons. Well, um, okay, I, I can get more. I can get two more buttons. I can do that. I can do that. I'm actually going to break these down because I don't like how it looks like. It looks ugly. So let's go ahead and break this. All right. I'm going to change it to cobblestone because I think cobblestone looks better because of the cobblestone walls. So now we get to place the buttons. There we go. Cool. And button here, button there. Cool. Perfect. And the reason why I placed two iron doors is because you can actually ride the Triceratops. Ah, so in case we got, we want to go into a journey, an adventure or whatever, <laughs> um, we can actually use it, use a Triceratops. But anywho, um, let's go ahead and place our little dinosaur egg around here. Oh, actually, no. Uh, let's do the feeder first. <laughs> All right, so it's iron, iron, and then one piece of glass, then this, then the bucket, and then stone, right? Perfect. Awesome sauce. Okay, so now that we have the feeder, let's go ahead and plop it down, plop it down, plop it down, and plop it good. Yeah. Don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this over here. Bloop. 
There we go. And um, do we have any extra food with us? We have like three wheat. We could use that. I mean, for now. Um, there we go. So we got 39. Not bad. Not bad. And let's go ahead and place down our little baby egg. <gasps> I didn't bring the baby egg. Well, oopsies. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> let's go ahead and pull up this over here. Bloop. There we go. Oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. It looks like a, like an Easter egg. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, let's go ahead and put some torches around here. Um, more torches around this other area. There we go. So he should be plenty warm. Let's take a look-see. So Dinopedia, let me know. Yep, he is warm. Okay, so the progress is at 14 of 100. So let's go ahead and wait until our baby Triceratop hatches. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and a hundred! <gasps> Hi! <laughs> he kind of sounded like Chewbacca. <laughs> okay, so I also order you with a stick. Perfect, perfect. And I think we should be good. Hi, cutie pitty Okay, so do I have a stick? Yes, I do. I still have a stick with me. So you're going to stay right here, okay? I need to go get food for you, okay? Because I didn't bring enough. I was waiting for you to hatch, okay, baby? I was waiting for you, baby. Okay, so now um, I guess we can go back home so we can get some food for our Triceratops. And we should also make a name tag. So let's see if we can make another name tag. We would need um, string slime balls and paper oh and hey we have another iron door i'm going to take this with me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so string 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 paper goes here i think and slime ball Bloop. all right and the triceratops shall be named keras keras Ooh, i like this name keras it sounds so mythological <laughs> I really like the name. Uh, so thank you so much for the suggestion. So let's go back home and back home, back to the Dinosaur Museum research thingy. And uh, I think it's easier if we go over here. Um, and let's go ahead and place the name for our Triceratops. Hello, baby. Here you go. Bloop. Get us the Triceratops. Ooh, it just, it, that that's just such a cool name for you. I think he likes it. I think he likes it. Whatever sound you made, I think he likes it. Look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> He's posing for us. Thank you, Keras. So I'm going to... I brought you more food. I don't remember if you eat sugarcane. Nope, you don't eat sugarcane. Do you have seeds? Hey, he likes seeds. Yay. Okay, so you have plenty of food. You shouldn't be hungry. You shouldn't be getting hungry, actually. But now let's go ahead and drop off all the stuff that we don't need because we actually need to head back home so we can add one of you guys into the Cookie Monster subscriber base. Bloop. Okay, and the comment that we have for today is by Alex Took. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. But anywho, Alex says, if you use milk, the process goes faster, but it is more likely to fail. And I had no clue about that. So thank you so much for letting me know, Alex. Now, Alex, I really didn't see your Minecraft account in the comments. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and place a sign with your name. So Alex... Duke. I, I don't I really don't know how to say your name. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But there you go. Bloop. And welcome to the Cookie Monster subscriber base, Alex Tuck or Took. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly. But um let's go ahead and go back to the dinosaur museum because we did use milk for the culture vat. And now that we've read that comment, maybe um Maybe the culture vat exploded because we use milk and milk makes it to be more likely to fail. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. Um, is there an explosion? So far, no explosion, guys. <gasps> no explosion. So does that mean that this is done? Is this done? <gasps> Brachiosaurus egg. Oh, yeah. Awesome, guys. We've been so lucky. So lucky so far. I really didn't think that we would be so lucky so many times in a row. So I am happy about this. I'm going to place you over here, Brachiosaurus, because we don't have a house for you yet. But we'll we'll start working on that. We'll start working on that. But um, the final thing that I wanted to do for today's episode is I wanted to use my cloud pet so we could fly into, the, into that cloud over there. I think 
we've already opened it, but I just want to make sure because I know there can be some inventory pets on clouds. So I don't know if we already grabbed these. Let's see. Is there anything over here? Uh, where's, there's a blaze rod. That's what there is. Excuse me. No blaze rod. No, and thank you. So maybe this one's also open. Is this also open? Yep, this one's also open. All right, well, what we could do is, because another thing that can happen with, or another way that you can find inventory pets is with trees. So maybe we can start chopping down some trees and see if we can get lucky and find the treasure chest. No treasure chest there. What about over here? No treasure chest there. What about this one? Treasure chest. Nope. Well, <laughs> how difficult is it to find inventory pets on trees? On Gamecraft, it was like right next to our house. Uh, hmm. It might be more difficult than I thought it would. <gasps> treasure chest! The, the treasure chest! Finally! <gasps> A pig pet. Bonus hunger saturation. Can eat poison foods. Awesome! Gives you pork chops. <gasps> yes! Oh, I will never run out of food. <gasps> this is wonderful. Got gold nuggets, diamonds. <gasps> finally. Gosh, it took forever to find one. Goodness. But hey, we finally got one. Yay. Maybe will you also give us one? Nah. Well, we got one. We got one. So I am happy. Haha. <laughs> so I guess because we got more diamonds... Uh, we got two more diamonds out of that, so maybe what we could do is we can make another inventory pet. What do you guys think? I think it's an awesome idea. So, uh, let's see what other inventory pet we could craft. Let's see, Inven inventory pets. Um, hmm, I really don't know. <laughs> There's so many to craft. Um, I mean, the ocelot pet could be a really good one because it gives us night vision and it also scares away creepers and it also catches fish near water. Oh, you know what we could do? The double chest pet. Since we don't have the backpack mod on Mariel Craft, maybe what we could do is a chest pet because if we open it, we can actually store stuff like a normal treasure chest. So maybe that's what we should do. So we need a gold nugget, gold and planks. Well, we have plenty of gold, don't we? Yes, we do. So we need one diamond, one gold nugget, and one gold ingot, and bloop, double chest pet. All right, so the double chest pet, um, the favorite food is wooden planks. So as long as we have wooden, wooden planks, we should be good. But see, now we can actually store stuff in here. Ah, marvelous, marvelous. And I actually kind of also want to make the ocelot pet I kind of want to make the ocelot pet, should I? Maybe I should. I think it's a really good one. So it's gold nuggets all around, one gold ingot, diamond, and raw fish. All right, so we have gold nuggets, bloop, all around, uh, raw fish, gold, and diamond. And now we have an ocelot pet. Awesome sauce. But okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And remember to keep leaving helpful ideas or comments alongside with your Minecraft account name so I can add one of you guys into the Cookie Monster subscriber base. And I will see you in the next episode. Have an amazing day, guys. I love you. Bye-bye. Come on over here, baby. Come on. Oh my gosh, he's climbing. <laughs>